Okay, so let's combine an entire process of how you would do a fade in and a fade out on a single track. So we're gonna go to our track. We're gonna add in a fade cue. Okay, we're gonna add in another fade cue. And we're gonna tell it the differences on what to do. So the first thing you have to do is drag the uh, audio track on top of the fade cues to make them targeted. So one there and one there. Now we have to tell them what to do. So this cue is going to do opposite what we did before. We're gonna fade the cue up and to do that much easier, just go here, select that and hit zero, which brings it, everybody enter, which brings it to the proper um, master volume, okay? Now, um, you're gonna go down to this one and you're gonna fade all that down to it's infinitely gone, okay? It's all the way down to the very bottom. Uh, the end one is going to stop the track. So on the fade in, you don't want to stop the track. You want to fade the track in and let it continue to play. On the out, fade out of that, you need to fade it out and then you want to stop the track. So we're going to click, click stop target when done, like I showed you earlier. Okay, so in order to fade a track in, you can't have it at your normal volume because if you start the track, now do the fade in, it's already on, it doesn't work. You can't fade in something, the volume's already there. So the first thing you need to do is you need to bring your track volume, all right? So you turn your track volume all the way off by sliding your master track down to, to the very bottom. And then you're gonna fire the cue, which plays the song, but as you can see, there is no volume coming out. You're gonna wait until faded in when you're ready. So you fade in the track now. Okay, perfect. When you want to fade the track out, you hit the fade out, and this time it's going to fade out and stop. So that's a fade in and a fade out. Once again, I do not suggest programming your cue files like this. As I said, make a group. By dragging a group down there, you're going to add these two into your group because you do not need to have two different individual files to start a song. Why would you start it twice? And why worry about the auto follows? It's so easy to make a mistake. You're gonna go in here, you're gonna hit the group to start all children simultaneously, like we spoke about in groups on the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, go back and watch that. It talks about the difference in groups, and different modes. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, entrance song, okay? And we're gonna drag this to the very top, all right? Um, now we are going to uh, make sure that this is all simultaneously, okay? So now what's going to happen is the track will fire and the, the fading will bring the track in automatically. Okay. Now to fade it out, it fades out and stops, okay? Now, um, let's say you... Um, you don't want to fade the track in. Let's say you want to hit the audience hard as you come on the stage with loud music, okay? So um, just for fun's sake, I will talk about this later, but we're going to start the track from there. and We'll get into that later. But uh, the song is going to start like this now. Um, let's get rid of that cue. And we're going to go volumes back to zero, okay? So that's, that's how you want the song to start when you come out, let's say. Okay. But you're going to start speaking to the audience and welcome to the show or whatever your version of your, uh, the reason you need to fade this out is. Um, so you want them to bring the volume down just to a small amount. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring that volume, that fade cue in by dragging it there. We're going to drag that on top. We're going to fade this out to, let's say, 18, okay? Do not stop the target. And we're gonna put a pre-weight this time um, of, let's say, 10 seconds, or let's say five seconds, okay? Uh, so it's gonna play five seconds of very loud music before it fades down into a normal uh, background volume, okay? Fade starts now. 
Song still plays in the background. And then you're going to fade out the song and stop it whenever you choose in a live version. Okay. Awesome. Now let's go more advanced with this. Um, you can use fades to do things for sound effects. So uh, let's say you have um, a, uh, a play where your actor is walking across the stage uh, and it's supposed to be a construction zone. So you have a construction zone sound effect, sound effect playing in the back. Okay. Now in the scene, uh, your actor opens a door and closes the door and you need the audience to then be transformed to be inside the room with her or him. Um, what I've done is I've added a door sound and the construction background noise fades out. Now, there's a big difference in why you'd want to use a fade because if you just use a stop cue, um, this would cause a major problem because it would sound very fake by sounding like this. The door didn't even get opened or closed before the sound was gone. Sound doesn't do that. It doesn't just turn off. It fades out as your door closes. Sound in a natural environment will, will get lower and lower and lower and fade out.